Hey everybody, Michael Crump here, and I just got back from picking up this gigantic PlayStation 4 lot. So let's jump in and see what all we got. So there was a number of different controllers that came with this lot. So this is obviously one of the kind of gold controllers, and you can see on the back of this, uh, this label is brand new, which means that this controller really hasn't been used that much. There is a couple of ding marks, as you can see right there, that I will need to kind of buff out. But that doesn't seem like that would be anything that would, you know, change my mind on buying this bundle. There is this white controller that's here. And as you can see, it's really dusty, meaning that these things really haven't been used very often at all. Um, all of it looked really great. He did tell me that he just bought a PlayStation 5 and he was just getting rid of all of his PS4 stuff. There's another controller. You can see that one's using some of the custom thumbsticks right here. So definitely this was probably his primary controller at one point. It's got the kind of cool camo. Now this one was used a bit more than some of those others was. And then there is this camo controller, which is actually one of my favorite tops. I have another video where I'm repairing one of these, so you might be interested in that. But yeah, these camo controllers right here go for $60 just by themselves. And then there was just two more of these black controllers. As you can see, these things are pretty filthy, but they're really new. And I, what I can kind of tell is, is that more than likely he just bought an extra couple of controllers and these just sit somewhere. But all of these controllers that I have right here, all of these are official Sony based controllers. So yeah, it kind of keeps going on and on. So all six of those controllers. Uh, this is a normal PS4 fat. There's really nothing to kind of see there. It did look pretty clean. And then they tossed in this charger, which they just asked me if I wanted it when I was there. And I was like, sure, why not? Because I can always bundle these with one of my PlayStation 4 cells that I've got. And then he also included, obviously, all the different types of cables. So the power cable for the PlayStation 4, and then the micro USB cable, and then the one to plug into this right here. But yeah, for this total lot right here, I paid $100, and really just for the controllers by themselves would have totally been worth $100. About $20 a piece is what I kind of set as my going price for PlayStation controllers. So anyway, I paid 100 for this. I do not know what version firmware this is on, but more than likely, it's probably going to be a 10.x. This officially licensed Nintendo Wii steering wheel. So this is the one that came out by Nintendo. This was obviously the absolute best one that you could buy. And this is in great condition right here. Again, it is licensed by Nintendo. And I paid a total of three bucks for this one. And for the most part, this is one I'll just keep in my collection. Since whenever I play Wii and was and if I'm playing a steering wheel related game, this is definitely the best controller. And then in another thrift store, not a Goodwill, I found this in absolutely perfect condition. So these were the face plates before we started seeing face plates for other systems. Now, this was absolutely made by Xbox, and I haven't seen one of these in the original packaging in an extremely long time. So, yeah, it gives a little bit of information back there on the back. And, well, right up here, you can see I paid three bucks for this. Now, you may be wondering, which systems does this work for? And, well, I pulled out of the closet one of my systems that this faceplate would be replacing. So obviously these are the older Xbox 360s that came out at launch. And what you could do is, is that you could pull this first little faceplate back off and then you could replace it with one just like this. It was kind of a nice way to customize your Xbox 360 really without spending much money. And I thought it was a really good idea. So basically, I just kind of got this to just to hold on to it. I'm not sure what I will do with it. I'll probably just keep it.
And then again, I always pick up these HDMI cables. This is like a gold series by actually Radio Shack. So two bucks for a great HDMI that is six feet. You can't beat that. And also I grabbed a USB 3.0 hub that was right here. This was a total of two bucks. And this is just great for like maybe setting on a PlayStation 3 or something like that where you need a few extra ports. And then I got a couple of games that were absolutely dirt cheap. So this one was actually a dollar and 50 cents for Lynx Crossbow Training. Now this game really isn't worth very much. I believe this just worked with the Wiimote. But again, anything that's kind of Zelda related, it's good to go ahead and buy. I believe this game really only goes for about six or $10, but for a buck 50, you can't help it. Now it does have this sticker on here, which would definitely hurt the value if I could not get that sticker back off. But yeah, this is one I really just plan on keeping in the collection anyway. And then I picked up a couple of more just single games. These were actually 75 cents. So Civilization Revolution was there for the Xbox 360. And then Assassin's Creed was also 75 cents. These are just great to go ahead and pair with a 360 whenever I sell one. And then last but not least, a camo PlayStation 4 controller. Now this one was $8 and all of the buttons felt really great. And well, if you flip it over, you will see there's something missing. And that is because I've already opened this one. And what I found was that Basically, the micro USB slot right here was broken, so I can get a replacement part for just a couple of bucks. And you'll probably actually see me repair this one live on my Gaming Finds channel. But yeah, a camo PlayStation 4 controller for $8 with another $4 in parts, you absolutely can't beat that. I will be keeping this one. It does need a little bit of cleaning up. And so this actually may go to one of my main controllers that I use. All right, thanks so very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.